today on Florida Sport Fishing. Here we are. Fully right there. Ready. And out of nowhere, FWC just decided to come out and board us. That's why you come out here. You get quality fish like that. Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. There's a sailfish. Already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on. Another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Motor Guide Trolling Motors. Precise control and accuracy in challenging conditions means better fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest trailer dealer has the right boat, cargo, or utility trailer at the right price. BioGreen Clean, the first heavy-duty, environmentally friendly multi-surface cleaner that actually works. Tsunami, hard plastic poppers and stick baits designed to deplete local fish populations. Please practice catch and release. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers, fish coffins, and freezers on the water. Welcome to the conclusion of Florida Sport Fishing TV's annual long range adventure aboard Yankee Captains. During last week's episode, we tore apart tackle techniques and everything anglers need to know to get dialed in aboard this legendary Key West headboat. In keeping with the same informative theme for fishing the famed Dry Tortugas and beyond, let's pick up right where we left off. It's delicious right there, boy. Very, very cool looking fish. You can see the little spots on the top there, just underneath the dorsals. That's why they call them snowy grouper. Those looks like little snowflakes. Nice ones. When do you decide to use a goggle eye versus a squid or a piece of bonita? Truth of the matter is, it's a matter of preference and a matter of what you have confidence in. You know, I certainly have confidence in the fresh goggle eyes, so I'm gonna fish these fresh gogs. However, there's times I'll switch over and fish the squid. You know, you catch a couple fish on squid, the next bait you wanna drop down is a squid. So it's really just a matter of what you have that's fresh, achieving that proper presentation, and what you have the most confidence in. Giant amberjack, killer fight from 500 feet, but certainly not the targeted species. But again, you don't know what's gonna eat your bait down there. There's no way to determine that. All you can do is just fish your butt off. You have to pace yourself when reeling up a fish from 750 feet. You got that right. <laughs> Chicken rig on the bottom. One squid and one chunk of goggle eye. But you definitely need a fast reel that can hold a lot of line for dropping down in 700 feet of water. It's perfect little fish. Perfect little fish. Can't beat that. Thank you very much. Off to the cooler. Hey guys, interesting scenario here. We're well over 100 miles off the beach on our long range trip. And out of nowhere, FWC, you can see right over my shoulder, just decided to come out and board us. You know, again, these guys are just doing their job, their fisheries regulations, they're making sure that all of the fish on the boat, you know, that are within the legal limits, not only in size and quantity, but certainly in the species. Again, as we mentioned earlier, red snapper season is open and that's such a controversial fish. You know, I don't know if there's any other species that's created as much controversy in Florida waters 
you know, in, in federal waters out here in the Gulf and even on the Atlantic side as the American red snapper. So I suspect that this has a little something to do with that. Fortunately, we had a great red snapper bite yesterday when we started our trip, limited out on the boat. But I gotta tell you, this crew here on the Yankee Captains, best in the business. These guys keep track of every single fish that's caught and there's not one single fish above our allowable legal limit. So certainly we're, we're happy about that, obviously. But it's nice to see that, you know, these are our tax dollars at work. In the event of emergency, certainly these guys can come out and help you out. But even if it's just a courtesy, you know, a, a fisheries check or whatever it may be, it's nice to see that they're out here. And, you know, if you needed any help for any reason, they're gonna be there to back you up. So let's see what happens here with these guys. They boarded us, they're up in the wheelhouse. We'll see what the end result of this is. So the conclusion, boarded by the FWC, cleared 100% all the way. We're off to another spot. Sunset, peak period to have your baits in order. If you're gonna sleep, don't sleep at sunrise or sunset. Those are key times to be at the rail. We ate the teaser. On the bunny? Ate the bunny. Ate the bunny. Nice job. Got a heavy jig, 10, 12 ounces for this depth of water. And three, four feet up the line, little glow teaser, little glow squid. And that's what this red grouper ate right there. You can see that right in its mouth. Not a giant, but certainly a healthy fish. Whoa. Can you see me now? Told you this jig works. <laughs> right there, only on the Yankee captains, only baby. Yankee right Thank there, you. baby. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit JoeyAccardiCDJR.com. Another one on the jig. Ooh. That's Grouper Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. It's your turn to score big. Book a long range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year round. Here 
Welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV, guys. We're right at the tail end here of our long range adventure aboard the Yankee Captains out of Key West, Florida. We've been fishing the Gulf here for almost four full days, and I'll tell you what, it's been a banner trip. We've crushed a red snapper, we've caught some quality mutton snapper, big, big red groupers. We've had a variety of other species mixed in, big trophy sized queen snappers. Really been an exceptional trip. We also had a great nighttime blackfin tuna bite. And as this trip is just coming to an end here, we've got really about a half a day left to fish. We made another move a little bit deeper here. The conditions have allowed us to do that. You can see it's absolutely glass calm. There's no current. So we stopped on a ledge in 650 feet of water here and doing some deep dropping with some manual equipment. Again, it's because the conditions have allowed us to do this. This is the head boat that we fish on. I'm not a big head boat guy. It's where I kind of, you know, cut my teeth years ago, decades ago in the party boat industry. And right now the Yankee Captains is the only head boat that I'll fish on. We come out here a couple times a year on these long range trips for the variety, for the quality, couple dozen select anglers that book these trips well in advance. And I'll tell you what, it is absolutely explosive. If you've never fished out here in the Gulf on a long range trip, check out yankeecaptains.com and get in on this. Ask the Experts, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, I'm here with Captain Greg. This is the man upstairs in charge. Greg, real important, we get a lot of emails. I wanna go out on these extended trips that can range from two to four days. How many fish can I keep? What's a scoop? Uh, red snappers, you're allowed four. Um, regular snappers, you're allowed 20. Groupers, you're allowed eight. No more than uh, four can be gags. Uh, combined reef fish, which includes golden tiles, gray tiles, porgies, margates, amico jacks, you're allowed 20 of those per day. And on the pelagic side, you're allowed uh, unlimited black fins. We also catch wahoos. We catch kingfish. Uh, so plenty of plenty, fish. Plenty That's of what fish. it boils full, down full to. Course. Two, if I got this straight from you, you are allowed two daily limits across the board on everything that you catch. And of course, on the pelagics, the black fin, there's no limit. Catch and kill as many as you'd like. And obviously, you've got to follow the standard rules for wahoos and dolphin and things to that nature. Um, but two daily limits. However, really important, it is your responsibility to make sure that you're up to date on all of the rules and regulations because they change frequently. So make sure prior to your trip that you log on to the website that you see on your screen right there and get up to date before you leave the dock. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. It's in the heartbeat, it's in the real thing, you can't make it up, it's in your soul deep, it's in the stars, the stripes, the dirt on my feet, the wind of my woman and the wish and love for me, it's in the heartbeat. Geico, more than just car insurance. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Captain Steve Roger from Into the Blue. I just got these new bubble blade pliers in my hands and they are awesome. You got aircraft aluminum frame, uh, the gripper is stainless steel, coated in titanium, and the cutter is tungsten. A great cutter is going to cut all the monofilament, you know, braid, anything you got. And the best thing of all, it's got the bubble blade grip. Just like the knife, these things are not going to slip out of your hand. Awesome pair of pliers. I suggest you try them out.
you know, one thing that's important to mention when you're on a headboat like this, and certainly when you're offshore deep dropping, that everybody really worked together and fished the same amount of lead. Again, we're fishing a ledge here in 650 feet, about 20 guys up and down the rail. I mean, imagine if everybody, you know, is fishing different lead. One guy's fishing 16 ounces, one guy's fishing two pounds. All your lines are just gonna be scoped out in different lengths and you're gonna end up in a big tangle. So everybody really has to work together, get dialed in. And I'll tell you what, if you do that, you can maximize the catch for everybody. So if you're a passenger aboard one of these long range trips, pay attention to what's going on around you. Listen to the crew, okay? Their, their advice is geared toward helping you catch more. So listen to what they're telling you, work with the guy to the right of you, to the left of you. And I'll tell you what, at the end of the day, you're gonna walk off the boat with more fish in your cooler. Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic Gear, official apparel provider of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, Captain Mike, we're on board the Yankee Captains. I've got a couple of the deck hands up here that I wanna to talk to you about. You know, you guys are the absolute best in the business. You're out here on every single trip over and over and over. You know this fishery, you know this boat, you know the details and the inside scoop like nobody else. You know, certainly much more even than somebody like me that only comes sporadically, you know. These guys are gonna unhook every single fish you catch. These guys are gonna provide you with fishing instruction, rigging details and rigging instruction. They're gonna take care of every fishy catch and ice it down. They, they rotate around the clock, so there's always gonna be a number of deckhands out there to help you out 24 hours a day, no matter what. Guys, you know, again, you're out here all of the time. If you had an opportunity to talk to people that have never been on, on board the Yankee Captains and have never done an extended long range trip, if you can really only give them one good tip, Brian, what would it be? It would be keep your sense of humor about it. You have 25 different personalities. Everybody's out here trying to have a good time. You want to keep your spirits up because if not, the fishing's going to really be affected for you. You want to keep your personality and you want you want to have a good sense of humor. I, I couldn't agree everybody. more. I mean, and everybody jokes around. Everybody lot, jokes. Man. We have a good time, man, that's for do. sure. It's one thing we have out here. Yep. AJ, you know, you brought up some good things that you were telling me before. If you can give somebody a tip, what would it be? Guys, biggest thing is bring your patience because it's, you know, you're gonna get in tangles no matter what, no matter how hard you try. There's 25 guys fishing on a boat and we're deep dropping, even getting really bad tangles no matter what. And you saw a few today. They got oh, yeah. a little hairy and you just gotta work together. You can't, you know, you can't get too angry and, you know, you just, We'll catch more fish that way if we all work together. Absolutely, and again, I can't stress it enough. Every single tangle these guys are on, unhooking every fish, it just keeps going on and on. They are absolutely the best in the business. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now, and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. Fortress, the world's best anchors. Stronger, faster, lighter. High-tech aluminum alloy makes Fortress anchors the easiest to handle. Precision machining and sharpening results in the fastest setting anchor. Fortress buries deep for the strongest holding power. With eight models from four to 69 pounds, there's a Fortress anchor for you. Fortress, stronger, faster, lighter. Soft Science, on and off the water, I love these shoes. Amazingly lightweight, fast drying, stable and supportive. Based on biomechanics, Soft Science shoes reduce foot and back pain and are the most comfortable footwear I've ever worn. And when you stand on the deck of a boat all day, that makes a big difference. Anglers and boaters demand shoes that are slip resistant, non-marking and stain and odor resistant, and Soft Science delivers. Dozens of fashionable styles and colors available at softscience.com. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand the harshest saltwater environments. Salt Life Optics, Italian style and Zeiss lenses provide unparalleled contrast and clarity for finding fish faster. 
Tsunami, a complete line of tackle and tools designed and manufactured for maximum fish catching success. Boat Outfitters, a huge selection of tackle storage systems to keep your gear organized and your lines tight. King Sailfish, providing anglers worldwide with the finest fish mounts. Visit kingsailfishmounts.com and order your trophy today. Great trip. Amazing. Yeah, I'll tell Always you. Always amazing out here. Been blessed with absolutely gorgeous weather, flat calm, variable winds. The, the entire flattest trip. I've seen in all the trips out here. Crazy. Man. Great Crazy. crowd. Awesome guys from everywhere, from as far away as Michigan. Yep. Mm -hmm. and those guys crushed it. <laughs> Our brothers from Michigan. On the jigs. Yep, on the jigs and on bait. Absolutely crushed it. And I'll tell you what, you want to talk about variety. Let's list off the fish that we've caught on you this. Sure, trip. we have enough time for that? Sailfish. <laughs> Wahoo, Blackfin Tuna, Bonita, Yellow Edge Grouper, Yellow Edge Grouper, Snowy Grouper, Scamp Grouper, Black Grouper, Dolphin, Sailfish. Black, I got that. Okay. Black Belly <laughs> Rosefish, Gray Tilefish, mm -hmm. Golden Tilefish, yeah. American Red Snapper, Mutton Snapper, Queen Snapper. I got the Scamp Grouper already. Um, Red grouper, okay. Mm -hmm. Porgies, margate, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Red porgy, couple of different kinds of porgies. Barrelfish. Yeah, barrelfish you don't see every time. That was cool. Yellow eye snapper. Mm -hmm. Ham bone snapper. Oh. What kind of bait was that on? Multi. Multi bait. A lot of guys like to mix it up. Put a piece of meat on there and a squid. A little smorgasbord. It's like a burger with cheese. That's right. It's the Carlos combo. That's what the it is. Carlos combo. The Cuban yeah. combo. Yeah. <laughs> Cuban combo. Meat and squid. Well, you got them coming now, brother. Yeah. It just the first 50 feet is crucial, man. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You good? Yeah. Don't go anywhere. No, just, you know, I'm good. A little slippage. Well, I'll tell you what, after being awake for how many hours? Well, right? yeah. Staying at the rail, it's a little bit tiring. You lose count, man. But I'll tell you what, you got to do it. You know, that's the trick to these trips. That's the only way you're going to catch fish. You've got to be well prepared yeah. and you have to stay at the rail, you know? You could sleep on the way in. We've got a 10 hour ride home. Okay, 10 hours, plenty of time to sleep. But when you're out there on a spot, quality fish coming up, stay at the rail. You never know that one drop could be the right drop. Right here. So right before we moved this little puppy, ate it. Nice queen snapper. This is my personal best so far. Oh, these fish are found between 600 and 1200 feet. And you can see he's still frisky. These things fight all the way up. Just a beautiful fish. And he ate my little combo package, squid and bait. <laughs> but they'll eat anything down there. Let me get this one back to the box. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, Brian. Best mates in, in, in the business here, Yankee Caps. I'll tell you what, guys. One of the questions that's often asked is what all of the anglers on these long range trips do with their fish. So the process is pretty simple. Every angler is given a whole bunch of tickets, little numbers, okay? Everybody's got their own little numbers here, okay? And the mates come around and they'll take a number, they'll staple it right to your fish's cheek, just like that. They'll then take that fish into the back of the boat, they'll slush it, they'll put it in an ice box, and they'll take really good care of that fish and keep it on ice until we get back to the dock. Back at the dock, all of the fish come off the boat, onto the dock in totes, all of the anglers get their own personal coolers, all of the numbers are called, and of course, if you're designating designated number, for example, 19 in this particular case. 28, baby. Tw <laughs> or, or 28. <laughs> Obviously, all of the numbers are called, and all of their anglers get their fish. So it's a real simple process, and it keeps it simple. Otherwise, you would just have coolers all over the deck. So the mates take care of them for you. They keep them on ice. 
all the way back to the dock, keep them tagged right on the face right there, and you end up with a beautiful fish ready to take home. Circle hook did its job right there in the corner of the mouth as usual. Nice. Thanks, Mike. Yep, got it? Yep. Nice job, pal. Woo. There you go, man. Nice double header, pal. Thank you, Mike. All the way from Michigan. All the way from Michigan. To join us on our Pulley Ridge Yankee Captain's Long Range Adventure. Just drop down, double header right there. You make it look easy, pal. Nice African pompano. Just another one of the many species that you can catch out here on these long range trips, bottom fishing on the Yankee captains. As the final hour quickly fades, most guys are glued to the rail in hopes of one last bite. Like me, they're addicted and can never get enough, even though full fish boxes tell the story of our time at sea. Back on dry land the following morning, the seasoned crew shifts into high gear, distributing the catch. Satisfied fishermen gather to collect their bounty before jumping on overseas highway toward their final destinations. Their dedication at the rail has paid off, and just as sure as the tides will continue to ebb and flood, regardless if it's a two, three, or four day trip to the famed Dry Tortugas or the rich waters of Pulley Ridge and beyond where Trophy Snapper and Grouper have never seen a baited hook, they will all be back. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.